today lecture i am going to find the value of a and b of equation that has infinitely many solution the equation 2a minus 1x plus 3y equal to 5 3x plus by b minus 1y equal to 15 let's see the answer so first here i am writing the given equation given equation that i am going to write so here 2a minus 1 x 3 y and this 5 that move on the left so minus 5 equal to 0 thereafter here 3x thereafter here 3x plus b minus 1 y 15 move on the left minus 15 equal to 0 now here this equation is the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 the next is a2x b2y plus c2 equal to 0 now here we can write a1 equal to 2a minus 1 b1 3 c1 minus 5 and uh, now here a2 3 b2 b minus 1 and c2 minus 15 after that here you get the term equation has infinitely many solution now we can write here equation has infinitely many solutions so if you get terms like this that means here coefficient of x a1 divided by a2 b1 divided by b2 here c1 divided by c2 so it, it's all are equal now here put the value of a that is 2a minus 1 a2 3 b1 is 3 b2 is b minus 1 here c1 is minus 5 c2 is minus 15 minus minus that change to plus thereafter make the relationship with these twos to get the output or with these twos or if you want then you can make the relationship with these twos so here i am making the relationship with first and third so here we can write 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 divided by 3 and here 5 by 15 next is 3a 3 divided b minus 1 5 divided by 15 after that this cancel by 3 times here it is 1 so we can write 2a minus 1 divided by 3 1 by 3 or it's very simple 3 3 cancel now you can write 2a minus 1 equal to 1 2a equal to this one move on the right so 1 plus 1 here we can write 2a equal to 2 a equal to 2 by 2 and here a equal to 1 is the answer of this question after that here let's take this one to the cross multiplication or cancel this out first here 3 into 3 and b minus 1 this is the cross multiplication here 3 into 3 9 b minus 1 b that one move on the left so 9 plus 1 here b equal to 10 so this is the answer of b okay so the a answer is 1 and b answer is 10 so this is the simplest way we can find out the value of a and b of this equation so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you